we are back out. Well, I'm back out right now. It's November and it's like 60 degrees out and it's raining on me. We got a heat wave for November. It's pretty nice. I'm by myself for the next 24 hours. And then tomorrow, Logan's coming in tomorrow night. He's going to night paddle in. And our subscriber, Paul, is meeting me up here tomorrow at around noon. So, yeah, let me get through this river. We'll be out in the lake in about 10 minutes and start fishing. I got a fish. Oh, it got off. It just shook off. It was a big hit. If you can see it or not, there's a scale on it. You might have, it might have been foul hooked and it shook off. It was definitely a fish scale and we definitely had a bite. I knew it was a bite. He was fighting me. So that's a good thing. I'm happy. I wish we caught him. But we got a bite paddling into camp. Our campsite is open. Everything's working out. And I got a ton of gear. I have two I have two bags. I have a 70 liter dry bag and I have a 95 liter duffel bag and a cooler. So I got to get unloaded and we'll get set up and we'll get back out to fishing. Well, we just dropped our stuff off at the campsite. And I had to get back out and troll a little bit. Nothing set up. It's sitting in the lean-to. But losing that fish makes me want to come out and see if we can get one quick. Alright guys, we got one more bite. But it was just quick. It was bang and it was off. We were in like 28 feet of water, so I know it was a fish. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It's not unfishable by any means, but I need to get set up. We're going to reel these in, get into camp, set up our gear, and we'll do some fishing from shore. And we still got to look for wood. Got the Northland Rumble Stick, Purple Wonder, we call it the Clown Lure. Got this rod. This is my medium light, 6.9 medium light fast action rod. And then over here, on my 6.9 medium heavy rod, I have a big Northland rumble bead, size 13. I'll show you in a minute. It's a pretty big bait. Had a hook break off last time. All right, guys, I'm all set up in the lean to. Got camp all set up. I'll show you around a little bit here. And then we're going to go out and do some fishing from shore. And then get in the boat, go troll around a little bit, and get some wood. Brought the cot for this trip. Got the nice Sea to Summit Comfort Deluxe SI pad, my UGQ top quilt. Got my bags over here, got some snacks out. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Got the cooler right here. Over here on the table, got my tools, my life vest. I got my light recharging and drinks and cook set cups. We're out going. It's going to be dark pretty early tonight. This will probably be the last time we fish. All right, guys, we're trolling back to camp. I scored on some wood. I got a bunch of hardwood. Got some striped maple, some cordwood some people left behind. And we're trolling back right now. And it said it wasn't supposed to rain tonight, so I didn't bring my rain gear, and it's raining on me. All right, we're back in the lean-to, and I'm pretty wet. And hopefully I'm just going to let my body heat dry my clothes out. Luckily, like I said, it's pretty warm for November. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to split up some wood, prep a fire, but I have to eat. So I think that's, that's next on the agenda. On the menu tonight, just a couple of hot dogs. Maybe some some ramen too I might make up if I'm still hungry.
we got a fire tonight, even though the wood was extremely wet. It was all stuff I just found laying out down dead trees. Some other wood that was sitting around somebody else's fire that was out in the rain for the past day or two. We got her going though. It's pretty dark out now. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish my drink, maybe have another one, and then hit the hay. So I got Logan coming in tomorrow night. Our subscriber Paul is coming in tomorrow morning. He's going to camp with us for a couple days, I think. He hasn't met Logan yet. Me and him are out. But yeah, that's I'm calling it a night. I'm going to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Guys, I just messed up pretty good. It's 12.20, I got up to go to the bathroom, and I stepped out of the lean-to onto the side of a rock, and I sprained my ankle pretty good. I took three Advil, um, got a cold pack, well, I got frozen hash brown potatoes on it right now, icing it. Luckily, I'm kind of a pro at spraining my ankle. It's starting to hurt more now, though. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I got the swelling to go down some with ice. It was double that when I first did it. I heard something pop or crack in it. Hopefully it's not broken. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just sprained. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's a little after 7. The sun's not all the way up yet. I just woke up. Threw a little of my clothes on. I think we're going to get out and troll. Every part of me wants to stay in bed, but let's try and get a fish. I've been in bed for a while. These are the times when I really love being out canoe camping. Right now I have this entire beautiful Adirondack Mountain lake to myself. It's not even a pond, it's a, it's a lake. And I'm the only one here. Not a sound of another human all last night or today. Last night, my hopes were not high for a fish, even though we got a couple bites, but today they are. It's like one of the little bit deformed ones that Jay caught that time. He had a little hump in his back. Nice fish. He's pretty beat up. The fishing is on, guys. We got another one. This one's staying down. The other one was up on top. That's why I thought it was a bass. I had a feeling today was going to be a good day for fishing. Just a little guy. Might not even need to net this one. Little guy. I'll take them all. He hit it hard. Wow. Many teeth even on the little ones. Oh, he's gone. Nice. Finally heard my first loom. There he is. Awesome. Bit of casting here, see if I can pick up a perch. I see Paul paddling down the lake right now. I see his red boat. I'd really like to get a perch. Oh, I got something. It's not a perch. Nice. Oh yeah, baby. That's something nice. What is this? Gotta be a pike. No, 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 no. Oh, it shook. I thought I lost it. Oh, it's a big pike. It's a big... I caught this thing up shallow with my light rod, too. Right where Paul's coming down. Woo! 
There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. See, you never know where to catch them. I've been fishing in 34 feet of water. I'm casting in the shadows trying to get a perch. And bam, I got my biggest pike. Well, not my biggest, not this, of this trip. We gotta let this guy get tired. I don't want to get him in the net and just have him start alligator rolling in there. Oh man, he really swallowed that lure too. Oh, not yet. Woo! He breached. Well, I, I, this guy barely fits in that. This is a big fish, guys. Uh, we got him. Oh, that was a fight. All right, guys, you ready for this one? That's a big fish. <laughs> that thing. It's a monster. That's a big fish, guys. I really saw that fish jump. <laughs> what an epic morning of fishing, guys. Landed three, lost one, four bites, and that was a monster. Totally unexpected. Didn't think we were going to catch that thing. Like I said, I was just casting into the large, right into shore by this big rock looking for some perch. And the lure just stopped and he just, he engulfed it. Well, we got the hash browns going or home fries, I guess they are. Got peppers and onions in there. Paul let me use his jet boil to make some coffee because I only brought one stove, stupidly. Well, Logan will be here soon, so we'll have two. And then we're going to make a breakfast sandwich with cheddar cheese, egg, and ham on a croissant. The egg down, the ham down, toasted up the croissant, got the potatoes, my coffee's done, got to get this going, and then we're going to be eating. There's breakfast. Pretty excited to eat this. Oh yeah, we're back out trolling. It's like 10.30. Most of the fish I'm seeing now are sitting on the bottom. I don't see too many active fish on the sonar anymore. I think the morning bite's over. Hoping the sun comes out some point today. I think it's supposed to. Yeah. Hoping Paul gets a fish here. We got a fish. Not sure what it is. Try to keep it out of my other line. There we go. Might fight him over here better. Small pike. No, it's a good size. Medium size. He's done. Oh, he breached. He's not tired yet. It's actually a decent fish. Quick picture, we'll get him back in the boat water. Pretty nice day now. I knew it was supposed to break today. I can't believe it's November. Blue skies, it's probably like 55 degrees right now. No, probably low 50s. Absolutely crazy.
Paul got himself a pike. He lost a couple and now he finally got one in the net. Fish of the day. That's a nice fish. Yeah. It's probably like almost 30. Yeah, I was going to say 26, 28. Yeah, 28 I'd say. Yeah. And thick too. Yeah, he's thick. Nice, man. Handsome little feller. Yeah, that was great. Paul got a nice pike. I'm sure we'll get more. Right now I'm just trolling back to camp and I got to change because now it's like hot out. It's crazy. And we're going to do a little bit of shore fishing and probably eat some lunch. Lunchtime. Just a little bit of ramen today. We're back out trolling. I don't even know what the temperature is. It's It's got to be over 60. It's November and I'm wearing a t-shirt. And I'm hot still. This is crazy. As soon as I turn the camera off, my rod bent over. We got a fish. And it feels like a decent one. No, maybe not. It's coming right up. Let's see how much it runs at the boat. Decent fish, not a monster. That's small. up right off right off our campsite right out here the fishing's been fire i think you caught up to me you're at five now right yeah we both we got five pike each today we lost oh. a few too four of them on that big clown and one on the other nice 10 pike in the boat today it's pretty good it's gonna be a nice sunset tonight look at those purple sky it's going to be a nice night. Pretty surprised. The evening bite wasn't really good tonight. Paul hooked up with one but lost it. I haven't got a bite. In the previous seasons to this one, the morning and the evening bite was when it was on. And you'd be lucky if you get a few during the day. This season, I caught most of my pike. I, I caught a few this morning, but most of my pike this whole year I caught midday with the sun up. Crazy how it could change year to year. But it's a beautiful evening. It cooled off a little bit, but it's still, I'm just in a light hoodie and not even cold. And it's calm, glass water all day. You couldn't ask for more perfect conditions right now. It's just beautiful right now out here. All right, guys, that's it for the evening. I'm heading into camp. I think Paul is, he's coming at me. He's down there. I see him. He's probably going to come in too. It's kind of too dark to fish now. All right, guys, for tonight for dinner, we got some cheeseburgers. And some buttery golden selects mashed potatoes i just talked to logan he's at the put in so he should be paddling up to the site in about i would say 30 40 minutes all right the potatoes are done and we just slapped the burgers in the pan get some cheese on them it's gonna be good
That is good. That seasoning is really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Me and Paul are going to sit here and crush this. By the time we're done, Logan should be pulling up. It's going to be awesome. How's your food? Dude, perfect Pre burger. Pretty good. That I don't seasoning. know why. Burgers always taste better when you're camping. They you hit know? nice camping, yeah. <laughs> that seasoning was really delicious. Well, awesome. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, I did. Appreciate it. Man, I had wicked fun today. I'm glad you came. We killed the fish. Yeah. It's going to be another good day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We just need Logan to show up now. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. I am being blinded right now. I can barely see you. I am doing another night paddle right now to go catch up with John and Paul. Um, so it was about the best I can do for lighting for you. But I got to cut this light out because I have no idea where I'm at. I'm losing all my sense of direction with this light in my eyes. But uh, when we get to the open lake, I'll get back with you. We're just doing a little night paddle and uh, enjoying the beautiful stars on the moon. For anyone who's interested in doing a night paddle, I definitely would advise you to do so only if you're comfortable with the area you're going obviously make sure you got good weather uh, make sure people know where you're at all that good jazz but wow it is you know once i turn this headlamp off the stars and the moon i mean you just there's literally nothing like the night paddle it's, it's kind of a surreal feeling in a way it almost feels like you're dreaming it's pretty crazy but i'm gonna get back to this beautiful paddle and we'll see you uh at the campsite got john down there signal signaling me we'll hit him back see if he gets us back all right, he made it. You can't see him, but he's here. <laughs> How's your paddle? It was awesome, man. Yeah, that's nice. You it's still? Easy thing. Let's see if I can. Uh... I'll let you up here. Finally. Yeah. Get dialed in. What's going on, man? Paul Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. What's up, bro? Hey, Logan. How's it going? Nice to, you. nice to meet you as well, yeah. man. We'll be able to see each other once yeah. we uh, don't got these headlamps blinding, right? Yeah. <laughs> The loons are finally calling. Yeah. They didn't hear any last night. It's nice. Alright guys. It's bedtime. Hopefully we get up early tomorrow and try and get on some fish. I know Logan will be out there early. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So what do you say, bro? Nah, I think I'll be up. I, wanna, I haven't caught a fish yet, so I gotta get up early. He's gotta get up. I'll be up. Alright, good night. Beautiful morning already. Got up and got right on the water. And get to fishing. Saw the pictures and heard the stories last night of the pike they caught yesterday, so. Trying to see if I can get something in the boat this morning. Good morning. Remember I was saying it didn't feel like November? Today it feels like November. Logan brought the cold weather with him. It's not even that cold actually. It's like 31 degrees. It got a little bit below freezing last night. But I was used to warmer weather so this feels pretty cold to me. yet going through my lucky spot right now hopefully I get something right here a lot of times when we come here fishing this is always the first place I always catch my first fish so all right got a fish on finally yes
He did his little jumped out of the water, got twisted in the line. Tie that line back up. Not bad. Probably a good 32 incher. Thank you, sir. Oh, now I can really go in and enjoy a nice uh, cup of coffee. Best thing about fishing with other people is you can come over and enjoy them catching their fish. Paul and I were just, he was coming towards me. I was just reeling in by the line after catching my fish. He was coming towards me and we were just talking and, oh, got one. This is, this is the coffee fish. Yeah, the coffee fish. This is all right. You can go in and get your coffee now. Hey, you did tell me you, you're going to stay out and catch another one. You weren't lying. We're going to we're going to switch Paul's name from the deer slayer to the pike slayer. Oh. Awesome, man. That was awesome, man. All right, all the boys are in. We're making up some coffee. Fuel canisters are getting low. She's puttering. But we're going to make this coffee and get back out there. All right, we had some coffee. We're out for a late morning troll. And those guys both got fish this morning, and I got skunk, so I need to get a fish. Oh, right there. <laughs> no, it just uh, it's got off. No, it's on. We got a fish. <laughs> yeah. No, no. No, it shook off. Oh. No. All right. Let's get back at it. <laughs> fish just jumped right in front of me. Oh, that hurt, dude. All right. Like I said, I got to get a fish because I got skunk this morning, and losing that one just made it hurt more. <laughs> oh, now I lost two fish. I feel like whenever we go out with a group of three or more, more than two people, there's always one person that's going to struggle. And today, that's going to be me. Had a good day yesterday. The weather for being November in the Adirondacks is ridiculously nice. I think out of all the trips we've done this year, this is probably the best weather we've had. I mean, it's it's so calm out. It's kind of, last night it was so calm out that it was it was kind of eerie almost. It, it is just like glass out. Boom! Gets one right in front of the campsite. Is it a good one? Feels like it. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> All right, Paul netted him, but it did the old traditional barrel roll. And now he's in the boat barrel rolling, so it's going to be a little bit of a mess for him to get this one out. Nature of the beast sometimes. Joys of catching pike. <laughs> Alright, Johnny boy is cooking up the hash browns. The wind is picking up as we expected. And I'm about to start these breakfast sausages that Paul's buddy named the ADK. All right, got the sausage going. Can't wait to try this. It's got maple syrup and little chunks of apple in it. So this should be really good. Okay, we got the breakfast sandwiches going. The home fries are done. 
Logan's cutting up the last three croissants. And the venison sausage is almost done. Can you see that? That's going to be good. Try this venison sausage. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. That maple and that, that sweetness of that uh, apple in there is really good. That's perfect for a breakfast right there. Mm -hmm. With the hash browns, let's go for the sandwich. It's better on a croissant. I don't care what anyone says. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Mm hmm. Awesome. Perfectly cooked. How's yours? Mm. It's just like home, like grandma used to make. Good. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna eat mine now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome. We're all out right now for the afternoon troll session. Been out for a little bit now, no luck. Had an awesome breakfast. It was really good. Paul, oh, thank you for the breakfast sauce. This was awesome. It was a really good flavor and maple with chunks of apple in it. That was, that is good. Be a pretty windy one these next few days up here now. So we'll see what that does to the fishing. We're all out for the evening troll now. The wind died down and it's really nice out. It was, it was ripping earlier. It was, it, was, uh, it was tough fishing earlier for sure. Hopefully there's a decent sunset tonight. We'll see though. That moon is gonna be crazy tonight. Beautiful sunset tonight. Get something on. Don't end up seeing you at camp. Came in from getting, well, I got skunk today fishing. Me and Logan came into a fire. Yeah. We don't. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. We don't ever come back to a fire. Actually, Jay, Jay's probably done it once or twice. Yeah. But we got a ton of wood for tonight. We're going to have some grilled chicken sandwiches. Paul's got a little bit of venison steaks. I don't know, maybe mashed potatoes again or something. I don't know. That's a hot fire. We scored in the wood today. Alright, the chicken's down for the sandwiches. Get these grilled up, put some cheese on them. It's going to be pretty good. Chicken sandwiches are done. John is the taste test dummy. Oh, hell, this is better than last time. It came out better? Oh, yeah. yeah. Way better. I'm gonna try it. Probably at this. It. I'm so excited to try this venison. <laughs> There's some big steaks in there. Nice. Look at that venison. We already grubbed into it. It's so good. With a nice spicy. Oh yeah, it's too. spicy, not gamey at all. It's delicious. Actually, I'm gonna have another piece. Great fire tonight. I don't even care that I got skunk fishing. It was a good ending, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Alright, it's that time of the night. It's about almost 11 o'clock. We got a nice bright moon, some really nice stars. We just went and looked out. Out on the rock by our campsite. We're going to call it a night. I'm going to hit the hay tonight. Get up early and try and get a fish. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. What do you say, Paul? 
I say it was a wonderful day and hopefully we'll have a better day tomorrow. Top of the morning to ya. Getting the coffee going. All right, we are coffeeed up, getting loaded up, heading out. Just about seven o'clock. I think it's just turning seven. Actually, it was seven twelve. Sorry. Made our coffee. Paul beat us out here by about twenty minutes. He's up down the lake already. Pretty early. Still pretty dark out. Check that out. That's a nice one. The fatty. Well, let's let get him back in the water. Wow, yes. That's awesome. Lord, we got a fish this morning. I can't I haven't got a fish since Wednesday. It's now Friday. It's Friday morning early, but it's a pretty big dry spell for me. Especially at a place like this where I know how to fish it. So fast forward a good hour and a half, two hours uh, after we fished for a while. I, I only caught that pike. Uh, Paul caught a little smallie, well nice, good size smallie. But that was it. So we all went in and packed up really, really fast so we could get out before the wind picked up too much. Um, that way we could try to at least fish out and have a little bit of a tailwind. All right, well, fishing died down, so we decided to end the trip like this. Nothing better than the Racket River Brewing. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this trip. Unfortunately, you know, the wind was picking up so much and the fishing died down, we just decided to head out a day early. So, until next time, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, other than that, though, have a good one. Take care and be well.